Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at dates and calculating periods between dates. So here I have an example of two dates, November 15, 2001, July 1st, 2013. And I want to know the number of days between those two dates. Again, that's relatively simple. Equals this date minus that date. Hit enter and we have 4,246. Remember that dates are just a formatting of a serial number that's assigned to those dates. So if I went up and changed just a general order number, you see that these are actual serial numbers that are assigned to the dates. And again, that's the number of days from January 1st, 1900 to that specific date. So I'll just format that back. And that's how you find the number of days between two dates. If you want to know only the number of months, you can use the month function and pick the two dates and just subtract the month function whoops, for the other date. And notice how we get a negative 4, 7 minus 11. It's just looking at the date number and ignoring the days and the years. So we'll get a minus 4. If we change this to January 1st, now we get a positive 6. 7 minus 1 gives you just a positive 6. So very simple there. Years, again, very similar to months. If I just take uh, equal and use the year function and take that date minus the year for this date, I will get 12 years. 2013 minus 2001 is 12 years. Again, it's irrelevant of the month and the date. If I made this the very first date of January and this almost the last date of December, it still doesn't change it even though it's really almost 11 years between the two. It's just looking at the number of years from 2013 down to 2011. So I'm going to just change those two back. Now, lastly, what if you want to know just the number of months between these two dates totally from 11-15-2001 to 7-1-2013? Well, you can do an approximation by taking the number of days and dividing it by 30 or 31 or 30 point something to get an approximation. But to get something a little more specific, what we will do here is create a slightly more complicated formula. We're going to take first and take the year for the two dates and subtract those. And then we're going to take and wrap that in parentheses and multiply that times 12. Now that gives us a number of months between these two years. And then to that, we're going to add the difference between the months for the two periods. Oops, month there, minus month of here. And we're going to get 140 months. So if we take a look at this formula, if you look at the year calculation, that's going to give us the fact that there are 12 years between those two. Multiplying that times 12 is going to give us 144 months. So there's 144 months between those two years. Okay, And then if we look at the month calculation, here I hit F9, and it tells me that's a negative 4 from July to November. That's actually our July minus November is a negative 4. So it's going to take those 144 months, which is of the year's calculation, and subtract from that 4 months, which gives us 140. And that's how you get the number of months between two dates. And there you have it. Hope you enjoy it. Glad you stopped by. If you'd like to see more, please go to my blog, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.